just cannot understand how this country carries on and we actually tolerate or allow it to come to the table and eat with us. They are monsters. It's a complete illusion. They dress it up as a fancy destination and they do that so well. I mean, they may have the only seven star hotel in the world, but as far as jails go, Alawir is a zero star jail, but for profitability, sorry mate, I'm on a conversation. Um, the, um, the, um, this is just another American asking what I'm doing walking across um, America. Um, yeah, a profitability, the money that Alawir makes, the reason they give out these huge long, huge sentences is because they want, they want people to, um, stay in jail as long as possible because Alawira is a profit making machine. It makes more money than any of the hotels in Dubai, I can assure you. It is the most profitable accommodation block in all of all of Dubai. They get money from federal government for the bodies that they've got in there and with the canteen system they run and the fact that you have to pay for everything, your clothes, your medical treatment, your everything, anything you want to just basic necessities to survive, to survive you have to pay for. It's, it's the it's the best money-making hotel in, in, in the entire region, I'm sure. That's why when COVID broke out, all the other Emirates let prisoners go, not Dubai. They never let a single body out the door. It was, they just couldn't keep the... I mean, the guy in the cell next to me died. They left his body there. The dead still body of a 26-year-old man was left in there for 14 hours. And then they just topped and tailed him in bin liners and dragged him out. I wonder where his family ever saw his, even his body. Probably not, he was from a poor nation. Anyway, Martin Lonergan on the walk to justice with the Magnitsky sanctions application to hopefully sanction the monsters that have committed some of these atrocities to many of the poor souls in Dubai's Alawir jail, in particular Ryan Charles and Zach, who must come home. <laughs>